What secret are you keeping? I have some what people left for us on uh, Facebook. Also, I got some some stuff here. Married people confessing some secrets that they're keeping from their spouse. Uh oh. Yeah. Now this could also be a uh, a secret, not a current secret. Mm-hmm. Maybe the uh, the secret's out. But man, you held on to that like a trooper. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's very very difficult. Uh, it's a burden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a total burden. You know. But uh, I'll share some of what we got on Facebook, also on the After Hours voicemail at 877-44-WOODY. And then you can call in and uh, and share. Now, if you want to call in anonymously, you can, of course, do that. We won't say uh, what your name is or, you know, what part of town you're from. And uh, if you want to leave out uh, certain, you know, names or details or whatever to, sure. you know, keep it... Uh, protect the innocent. To protect... Mm-hmm. Well, or guilty. Or the guilty. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, you know... Some secrets, you got to wait until everybody involved is dead. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Yeah. What's that saying? You only, only if two people want to share a secret, one of them has to be dead? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that it? I've got... Uh, Something like that? I've got at least one of those. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You might you might know it, but like it's not it's nothing that I would discuss like uh, publicly oh, okay. yeah. mm-hmm. on the air. I was telling Ravi that this topic for me is very difficult because I don't know if there's anything I haven't told you guys. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know, but see, that's I the thing. It's not, usually get, it's not yeah. your secret, per se. It's True. like uh, somebody, you know. Yeah. Somebody you might know. Yeah. You're aware of. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll give you uh, one of mine. So, man, this was super difficult because at the time, this person and I were very, um, very cool. Good friends, coworkers, mm-hmm. and everything else. And I have a tendency to hear about or know about a lot of things that are going on within the station or the company or whatever, mm-hmm. just because of my dealings with, you know, muckety mucks and you, you're, you're privy to certain stuff that uh, sure. otherwise you wouldn't mm-hmm. be. And so I knew, and cause I don't think they really realized just how, you know, this pro- other person and I were friends, but I knew they were going to be firing him, like getting rid of him. Oh, that and sucks. What's, yeah. So that sucked. Number one. And then the other thing that sucked is that they said, well, it's going to happen on Friday. Oh. And then Friday mm-hmm. came and went. Uh-huh. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm. You know, because I was like, oh, hey, hey, man, what's going on? You know, oh, nothing, man. Uh, what you got going on this weekend? You know, I was like, oh, man. Like, okay. uh, have you heard so, anything yeah, at so work? Then, yeah. So then I, and I didn't want to say anything because right. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to know that information or if I just like, you know, mm-hmm. they didn't say, hey, man, here's what's going on. But I knew because Ooh. it was being discussed in the room oh, when I was there. Um, anyway. Then the next Friday came and went. Nothing. This went on for a month. Oh. And That's finally a long time. and finally I go, dude, so is so and so sticking around? Right. Like, how'd you know about that? I'm like, I was in the room when it got discussed. <laughs> oh man, you weren't supposed to know about that. I'm like, yeah, I know, but like I see this guy <laughs> all the time. I gotta work with him a lot. Like I you know, they're like, Oh yeah, well, it's happening later today. And then yeah. sure enough, it, oh. it happened. But man, that sucked that because was a long month. It's a person that I knew, and I felt like a dick for a while for not mm-hmm. for not saying something. But I don't. I I couldn't jeopardize. Sure, you're standing. Yeah. Now, if that would happen now, I probably would tell mm. the person. Like yeah. if I was that close to yeah. them. Oh yeah. 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 Don't tell me because I I'll tell that person because if I they don't fire care. me. Yeah. If they fire the me. Now, I don't, don't care. The company doesn't care about you either. They're yeah. gonna fire you one That's day. That's a good point. And. I, our last company yes. that we're at, I knew somebody was going, was getting fired. I called them like an hour later. I was like, dude, yeah. you're getting fired on Friday. Just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, thanks, man. And he was really appreciative. Don't yeah. make any purchases. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I agree with you now. Like if that, if that would happen today, yeah, then I would definitely say Just something. But me. I was a much younger mm-hmm. man mm-hmm. in a much different situation right. uh, yeah. than I am now. And so, I, you know. I did. I did feel bad about, it. but then he was fine. In fact, uh, he went on to do some pretty cool stuff. That's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone will be now. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. So, what? Uh, what secret are you keeping, or what big secret were you keeping? Eight seven seven forty four Woody. That's eight seven seven forty four Woody. You can uh, also hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. Say hi to uh, Samantha. Hey, good morning, Samantha. Samantha. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, what was your secret? Okay, so when my husband and I first met, I was young, and we had been together for about three weeks, and he consistently wore a hat, and this was like 2013, 2014, so I thought that was just like his fashion sense. Mm -hmm. Um, It had been about three weeks since we had like started talking, and I had already like fallen in love with this guy, 
Uh, he fell asleep on my couch, and his hat fell off, and I realized he was bald. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> like, like, balding bald. And oh. I was in school for cosmetology at the time, which made it even funnier. And if I wouldn't have already been, like, in love with this man, I probably would have come up with some lame excuse as to oh, why we couldn't wow. have been wow. I am not Very afraid shallow. to admit that. Yeah. You know? yeah. So shallow. Yeah. I'm not... <laughs> Listen, I was young. I didn't care. Yeah, you were uh, harassed. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and I, I kept that secret for years. We're actually divorced now. And I kept that secret for years until after we got divorced. And I told him, like, hey, you know, the, when we first met, if I would have <laughs> known you were bald, we would not have two kids. Wow. I should have followed my wow. instincts. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I right. know. I really should have. Yeah. All right, Samantha, thank you for the call. <laughs> Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Bye. Oh, that's funny. Uh, wow. <laughs> he couldn't have hit it forever. I know. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, she I wear a hat all the time. Everybody thinks I'm bald under this uh, mm. this hat. I'm not. Polar opposite. I, I, yeah, I promise mm. you. Greg, how out of control is my hair? Look at this. Um, mm. Straight it's pretty long. That is pretty long. That's yeah. pretty long for you. Considering yeah. how, you know. Greg's mm. hair's long. Woody's I know. hair's long. I'm like a hippie. You guys yeah. are I know. hippie yeah. and out of What are you so hiding under that hat? Oh. Eight seven seven forty four. Woody. What was yours, Greg? You said you came up with one. Um. So, <laughs> it's so, this is so, like a ravey confession. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Sure, sure. But I was thinking, <laughs> what <laughs> haven't I told you guys? Right. Yeah. I think I've told you everything. But. When we have conversations, and we often do, about food, specifically fast food, mm -hmm. you talk about McDonald's ice cream machine being broke. You know how yeah. it's always, and I always chime in, I know, I don't know that because I never go to fast food. I was talking to Sammy about this so when fancy. we first met, and it <laughs> sounds like one of those douchebags that say, I don't watch TV. Yeah, right. you do. Everybody does. I literally never, ever go to fast food. So when we have these conversations in here, I feel so lost and left out. <laughs> because I've never stepped foot in Arby's. I never have gone to Chick-fil-A. I've never gone to Shake Shack. I've never- I mean, You've had that stuff because we have brought when it, it in. When it comes here, we, we force it upon I'll you. have it. Yeah. But I've never gone to these places. I couldn't tell you which is the best drive through uh, I couldn't tell you who has the best shakes. I couldn't- Jeez. Like, I don't, when, when we talk about that, I hear just white is noise. Is it a health thing or you just don't want to go? Um. I mean, it's ironic if it would be a health thing because I'm so fat. But uh, yeah, he's dumping M and M's. He just goes to the grocery store for his M and M's and Goober. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> question: Like, it's just not need, part of my life. Let's say you're yeah. you're running around. You got all this stuff to do. You're you, need a, you, you need a quick. Like, what are you doing for a quick? Yeah, quick for, bite. Quick, like maybe yeah. probably the grocery store, like a ready-made sandwich or something like that. Really? Oh, that's yeah. so gross. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you got delicious. It is kind of gross. Fast delicious food. Options. Yeah. Yeah, just ready-made stuff. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ravi, what's yours? Well, look, sometimes secrets are good. And my most recent secret was one of my best friends told me that she was pregnant, but very early on. And we yeah. know a lot of the same people. I know mm. her, all of her family and all that stuff, but keep it quiet because mm. it wasn't going to be official until like through like two trimesters. Yeah. And now we're through two trimesters and it's Facebook official. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to hold on to good news, too, because you want to share. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I have somebody like that right now, too. Yeah. They're like, don't tell anybody. Yeah. Like, Great. Yeah. <laughs> tell me. Well, yeah. It's difficult. Like the the one I shared about the uh, the coworker who I was friends with who was getting fired, mm -hmm. and I knew about that. The worst is when something like and this, this, I have not experienced this part of it, but is when, all right, they found out that you knew. Mm. You know, like there's mm -hmm. there's something, and it's not necessarily like nobody is going to care if you knew about good news. No, no. But if there's like, you know, something going on, like, you know, medically or whatever, and you've been sworn to secrecy, and then the people who find out, they know that you knew right. way ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Man, that sucks. Yeah, that, that sucks. would be a really tough one to carry. Because what do you, I mean, because what do you do? Right. Yeah. They you know, like you, you have to respect say. the wish of the person. It's their stuff. Right. Especially yeah. if it's like serious or, you know. For sure. It's their stuff. It's their so, news to bring. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh. That sucks. Uh, Menace, what's yours? Oh, man, I have so many. But I think one of them, I, I thought it was surprising just recently because this I worked at this place a really long time ago, but I had a manager that was stealing on a regular basis. And, and you knew about it? I knew, I knew about it, and I worked with this person probably for a year and a half before I moved on to another job. And I just recently went back to the place, and that person is still working there. Whoa. Really? 
wonder if they're still never, stealing. They've never been caught. Oh, yeah. Damn. So I don't know if they stop stealing or they still Ew. steal. Wow. That's, on a regular basis, that's, but uh, that's how weird. That's pretty crazy because we're talking about a really long time. Wow. Dang. That's something I wouldn't want to know. Oh, definitely feeling, not. You know, yeah. I would not want to know that. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do with that information. Right. Yeah. I'm Oof. why I mean, what am I gonna say? I yeah. just cause a bunch of drama. Sammy, what's yours? I was in a relationship at the time, so I was living with my boyfriend and I had we had a friend who was a couple who was married and the girl had been calling me saying, hey, like we're separating. Don't say anything. It's you know, but it was a big deal. And obviously in situations like that, they're calling you all the time to right. vent, to talk yeah. about whatever and all the stuff they're going through. And so I couldn't say anything. And then after like a month and a half, two months, finally, it's like, OK, you can say something. Come to find out my boyfriend was talking to the husband and he knew the whole time too and we weren't telling each other walking around the same house with oh, the wow. same secret the whole <laughs> oh my time. gosh <laughs> like, Both I, sworn to secrecy. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't know you knew that i know yeah what <laughs> well because yeah because the wife didn't know the husband was talking to him the husband didn't know the wife was talking to me yeah and we weren't talking to each other i wow. admire that yeah. you didn't tell your boyfriend yeah because when somebody mm -hmm. says to me I want to tell you something, but you can't say anything. I usually tell them, okay, that, that means I'm telling Mario. You know that, right? <laughs> right, yeah. right. But, uh -huh. when, but when I know it's going to come out eventually, I'm like, okay, I can wait until yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Like if, uh, if I'm told something like that, like I don't tell my wife. Some really? stuff, oh, yeah. 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 Some stuff, sure. But it like, depends on what it is. Depends on how serious if it is. Right. If it's uh -huh. yeah, if it's a, a you if know. it's a pregnancy, like yeah. good news like that. Well, uh, right. and especially if it's someone that they really don't have any kind of like mm. relationship or exactly. connection to, it's just kind of a right. third party sure, type sure. of thing. Yeah. Uh, five six two. My secret that my wife to this day does not know. But when we first, uh, but when I first started working at this company, I've been uh, working here for six years now. My first event that I went to, went with a couple guys for some drinks, went to the strip club, and I nice. saw a girl from college working at the club. Oh, wow. Awesome. We started talking, and we ended up having sex that night. Oh, uh -huh. Sweet. Bravey. <laughs> <laughs> yes! He's, uh, he's taking that one to the grave. Oh, oh my no. God. Uh, Vi says, I know what mortuary workers do to bodies <gasps> after they die and some of the more gory details of what goes on. I even helped cremate a dead body with a friend before who was working that day. Uh, I got to see the whole process from hospital pickup site to final moments. Lucky. Fascinating stuff happens in those places. Fascinating. I want to go on a mortuary ride along. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. But no I, I way. I don't think you're, I mean, you're probably not allowed to I do that, right? Yeah. I wouldn't think so. I think you need a license yeah. or something, right? I can't see like some yeah. random, I just want to watch and check it out. I recently <laughs> learned that if you have a loved one who dies and they're getting cremated, you can have a ceremony there and yeah. literally push the body into, really? the, into the thing. I no. want you there to push my body. Hell <laughs> no, Ray. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Busy nope. that day. <laughs> Ray, Ray demands that she goes to the oven on all fours. <laughs> Make sure it happens, Craig. I got to wash my hair that day. Uh. Just push her in there. <laughs> Make sure it happens. The big broom oh. handle. Oh. Uh, after hours voicemail, 877-44-WOODY. My deepest, darkest secret is that I drink at work when I'm not supposed to. I drink at my break because it relaxes me, kills my anxiety, and I've also masturbated at work. And <laughs> wow. that's it. Thanks. Bye. Hey, bye. bye. She's oh a masturbating God. drunk yeah. at work. Yeah. <laughs> so she drinks and jills <laughs> at work. It's a party uh, over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have uh, yeah. people sharing some of the things that they... Uh, they keep from their spouse, married mm -hmm. couples, secrets that they're keeping from their spouse. Like, what, what is that, that one, that 562? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, uh, man, <laughs> that doesn't weigh on you. I know. I would think it would. Yeah. It would I keep mean, you up. Maybe if it happened, like, because, I mean, you guys are married. As I say, like, if, if, um, if you're just starting the date, but it's not, there's been no conversation about being, like, exclusive or mm -hmm. whatever. And that happens. I could see, like, maybe you, you keep that out of the mix because it was happening in a time where you weren't exclusive mm -hmm. exclusive, or, you know, whatever. Like, you weren't in a committed relationship with that person yet. Right. You hadn't discussed that. And, yeah, you, know, you take that one to the grave. Like, oh, okay. Right. But, uh, man, after you've, you know, been in now in a committed relationship, married, yeah, out with these you, guys. Yeah. yeah. How do you look in the mirror? God. 
<laughs> that would that, that would murder me from the I, inside I out. I would right. think so. Uh, friends of mine split up. The woman got married and is pregnant, but the baby might not be her husband's. Could be her <gasps> ex's. Oh no! Oh, that's the worst. Man, nah. When you hear stories about people finding out it's not their kid, yeah, yeah. I keep threatening yeah. my wife. I told her because like um, my son looks just like her. Uh-huh. Right. My daughter mm-hmm. is really a more combination of the two of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Agreed. And I said, well, I said I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do like a. Uh, Who's the daddy test on the air? I'm going to pluck a, pluck a hair from that kid's head. Yeah. For the boy. Yeah. He's so we'll skinny. He's so skinny. I'm locking. Yeah. Doesn't okay. take after his dad that way. Young Woody was very skinny. Yeah. I mean, I know. Um, he seems skinnier than young Woody. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know he's my son. He definitely has my personality mm-hmm. for sure. But he could have learned uh, that. Yeah. That's nurture. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I still think he's not yours. Son. Really? All right. <laughs> no. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll get it. To, we'll get it figured out. All right. Yeah, we'll do that.